extreme elements kind of latch onto the truck convoy. Well, you know what I think is interesting is that um, when there's a left-wing protest on Parliament Hill, we don't see the liberal media going through every single name of the people who attends to try and find one person that they can disparage the whole group with. Um, you know, we don't see... Uh, CBC, for example, has been accused by its own employees of systemic racism. And yet, we don't see the media here generalize that everyone who works at the CBC is a racist. Whenever you have um, five or 10,000 people who are part of any group, you're bound to have a number who have or say unacceptable things. And they should be individually responsible for the things they say and do. But that doesn't mean we disparage the thousands of hardworking, law-abiding, and peaceful truckers who, quite frankly, have kept all of you alive the last two years by f filling your grocery shelves with the food that you eat and filling your homes with the products that you rely upon. So I think that it is possible to hold individually responsible anyone who says or does anything unacceptable while showing support for the hardworking, law-abiding, peace-loving truckers who are fighting for their freedom and their livelihoods and on whom we have defended, we have depended for our very existence over the last two years.